Not because you're after borrowing something or they can do something for you. You're not after a favour. No, the flavour I'm getting is what it feels like. A moment of clarity. Where you feel the disparity between who you are in your heart and who you are in your daily life. I mean, fuck. How much strife does it take for you to get real? Not just feel it once for a second, but to understand that you need to make a stand for you. You need to get off your ass. Sorry, yeah. You need to get off your ass and work out what it is you love to do and do that. I mean, this place is a tip. But it's a lot better than it was. At least I hoover now. <sighs> At least I bought myself some lovely things. I'm going to redecorate. Because, quite frankly, this place is a tip. But that's my fault. Because I never did anything for 20 years. I just moped around. And had unrequited feelings for friends. Because I didn't step up. I didn't say how I felt. I didn't make amends. I didn't apologise. I was a coward. I sat back. And it doesn't matter to me who you thought I was. Or what you thought I did. It doesn't matter to me whether you thought we were friends. Because I held back. The means didn't justify the ends. I was always going to leave. I was always going to quit. Nothing I had was real. Nothing fit. Now, I feel like it does. Because I'm authentically, truly me. And what difference does that make? It means everything to everybody. I just spent some social time with a friend. I was a bit rusty. I talked too much. I listened too little. I'm more comfortable when I'm talking. Everyone is when they're talking about themselves. It's hard to engage. Especially in conversation. When people ask me questions, I get all defensive. And so I've become less judgmental. I like the people that I disliked a lot more. But I'm also being so realistic that I know I can't do what I did before. I can't do the job. I can't be... In a situation where somebody else is the boss. Not at work. Because I just don't give a toss. When I was fucked up and stoned all the time. It didn't matter. I had that crutch. It made my life bearable. I laughed a lot. But it wasn't good. It wasn't real. It wasn't true. I wasn't feeling vulnerable. And from there, strong. I felt weak. I felt sick. Actually, I didn't feel anything at all. And stored up inside my body is a huge amount of sickness and illness and failure and pain and emotions. And I'm feeling it all now. And through that, I'm connecting to others, my sisters and brothers. And I'm feeling their pain because I'm empathic because we all are and I'm feeling the pain of the world I can see we're in a giant mess and yes okay things like biodegradable glitter let's solve one tiny little problem like that and leave massive amounts of rubbish in the oceans and on the land because no one seems to care. 
No one seems to know. It's too hard to open your eyes, to look at yourself, to grow. Because we're stunted. Poor nutrition, not enough sunlight, not enough good water. We are a plant. There is no fruit, not like their altar. So what's the solution? Do we stop being so numb? Do we get up and get off our bum? Well, it might be a good idea. But then there's all those things we fear. Like what will other people think? It's not easy to give up drink. It's a social norm. That's really bad form to go into a pub and say, I don't want an alcoholic beverage. So, you've got to buck up your ideas. You've got to pack up your troubles. You've got to look at them. And the answers are easy. Yeah. Get to sleep every night at the same time. Wake up early. Stretch, do Tai Chi, Qi Gong, yoga, meditation, be more disciplined, love yourself, treat yourself right, be good to one another. There's no need to fight or argue. It doesn't matter who's right. It only matters what is. And like I say, the answers are easy, but you're not asking the questions. There are other directions. Don't wait until you're 45 like me. Actually, I was 35 when I held my own birthday party for the first time. I called it Jombo Paggins' 111th birthday. And I went, dressed up as a hobbit. I invited everyone I knew. I did it properly. I got to a certain point in the evening. I headed out towards the double doors and curtains. I stuck on a ring. I said of my own version of that speech. I like half of you, half as much as you deserve. And the rest of you I couldn't give. One word of pleasantries. I stuck on the ring and I disappeared. And I pretty much did. I fucked everyone off. I changed my number. I stopped drinking. And I disappeared and went walking for 500 miles. And almost immediately, without drinking drugs, daily, no smoking, anything. I came back to me and I realised who I missed. And who was a habit. And I didn't miss that many. And I came back with confidence in me. And love for myself. A new direction. More affection. And that lasted so long. And I went back to those old habits again. Until they brought me. To crisis. Near death experiences. And a breakdown mentally. And a process whereby. I met people going through psychotic breaks. And I helped them through it. Temporarily. Temporarily. And I knew, and I explained to the people around me, what they needed was a hug, to be held, to have their former life explained to them. This is your name. This is where you live. We love you. 
and they forgot all that and tried to have me sectioned but I've forgiven them professional help is seen as the right answer these days and in so many ways it isn't if you're drugged up getting put on pharmaceuticals is not going to be good for you in some cases it saves people's lives but it just gets them hooked on toxic medications that are even worse for you in the majority of cases you need to eat well sleep well and keep doing that keep trying to do that until those good habits take hold or until you hit rock bottom and then you work your way back up into the fold and before this gets old and ranty I mean that, that's not what it's meant to be it's meant to be more of a sea shanty because like Terence McKenna said I took the real medicines in this world and not just into my head I took them into my heart I took this to heart I placed my consciousness and awareness right there and I rode out onto the ocean of consciousness. I threw out my nets and I drew back in information. And this is where it gets weird. It's all true. The Force, the Jedi, the source of all creations, spirituality. Forget all those old religions. There's nothing here to see. But when you go deep within and search out your feelings and travel inside, well, you're going to find that you can forget atheism and agnosticism and maybe the answers aren't easy or quite so clear because they re require hard work and dear dearest lover friend I guess this is where I have to end because shamanically and less manically and as I come towards the period in this message where I tell you whilst most are out there frantically looking for presents that they can't afford or stressing out because they're looking to another New Year's Eve and another year of being a fraud I'm real I'm vulnerable but that makes me feel so good it's Saturday morning and I just wish you the benefit of my neighbourhood because the woods and the trees the earth under my fingertips, my teepee, my fire, some cacao, some meditation, some time for you to love yourself and be free, not think, feel, experience the world around you, let it in, realize that it's a sin not to get involved in finding solutions to this problem that we're all a part of. Stop making things worse for you, for them, for us, for everything, for everyone, for the earth herself. We're connected. We're one giant mess. Lose your stress. Feel your pain. Accept 
that you can do choose not to do it again not to keep on doing what you've been doing and getting the same result no take another path push the push door pull the pull door don't get it wrong every time become conscious in every moment not just occasionally become awareness itself and soon you'll realize and soon you'll be free you'll feel much better you'll want to get involved you'll want to get connected to your friends to those whose lives have not been sold to big business and you'll stop stealing even if it's petty because you know it's wrong And you'll stop hating one another. Because you'll start singing your own song. And you'll forget that you were addicted to a dozen different shows. You'll start creating your own entertainment. Just look at one who knows that yes... I love you. And a few years ago, I would have struggled to say even that and mean it. And there's nothing wrong with getting emotional. I'm not going to hide it. At weekends and at parties, I was a first aider, I was a bouncer, I was a friend. I looked out for those going through difficult situations because I'd been there. I'd done that. I died inside. And I found God. And it was me. That's my spirituality. The many faces of all plants and animals and people are one thing. That's the message that I bring. The song I sing. The golden opening within me that stretches from my ass to my crown. That stretches deeper down into the heart of the earth and all the way up into infinity. Firing off is the signal, it's the sound. That's what I found. I can't change the past, but I can learn from it. I think that'll do. Must be getting towards ten minutes or nearly filling up the memory. I doubt many will sit through this. The rhyming start to fail. Whatever you're up to, have fun. Be good to yourself. Not once in a while. Every day. I wish you the love that you miss. Here's a sweet kiss. Bye bye.